Hello there, peoples of the interwebs. It is me. I'm going on my nighttime walk right now. It's very peaceful. It's a little bit windy, but I can deal with that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me right now. I'm kind of shrouded in darkness. I may be shrouded in darkness, but I know that Christ will light the way for me. I have the Holy Spirit and it's within me right here. He will lead the way in my times of sorrow and darkness, and he will with you too. I've noticed that in this world for the past five or so years, the world has been getting darker and more corrupt and sin is just everywhere, even though sin is ultimately gone now, thanks to Jesus. <laughs> the signs of the times are getting much stronger, just like this wind. <laughs> Yeah, it's just getting very dark out there. We don't have a spirit of fear, that's very important. I felt called to talk about this tonight. Don't have a spirit of fear. Have a spirit of joy and peace. For Christ has done it. He's accomplished it all on our behalf. I know that there's wars and rumors of wars going on right now in Ukraine and Korea and the Middle East and China and Taiwan and all of these things and don't be afraid I know that's kind of it's easy to say that when you're not at hell's gates right when the chaos is on your doorstep it becomes a lot more difficult when your family and friends are the one that's being hurt when they can't find food or Satan has gotten to them you know it can be difficult. But I just want you to know that Christ has done it. And you need to turn and focus on him and no one else. Don't turn away from him. And in your time of need, he will provide for you. He will give you food and shelter and advice and comfort and love and anything that you ask of him, if you just believe on him. Don't put your faith in going out and stocking up the pantry with shelves and pasta and rice to last 10,000 years that's not what's going to save you that's not what the people of this world see the people of this world think that that's what's going to save them and all these things start to come about you know, the wars start famines and plagues and pestilences you're like a drowning man that just flails his arms all over the place trying to grasp onto something to pull himself up, to save himself. And that's not the way. We know that Christ has done it on our behalf, so we will look towards him for guidance in these times. And don't get me wrong, they will get really, really tough. I am shrouded in darkness right now, but the Holy Spirit is lighting the way for me. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about this darkness. Oh no, I've been going through some tough times, especially last year. So I know all about being in the world. And I was really in the world last year. and Christ really just pulled me out of it. And I didn't really want to go out of it. So he kind of just dragged me out of it. So there you go to all you free willers. People that think that man's will is above God's will. Well, that's not true. So yeah, take that free, free willers or willies. <laughs> Christ has done it on our behalf. And that brings me great peace. So don't be afraid of Putin's missiles or the pantries running low on food and the supermarkets and stores running out of food because of supply issues. Don't be afraid of all these things. Trust in Jesus. I can remember when the lockdowns first started to happen in 2020 and I was so afraid. I went out and I bought like $500 or £500 here in Britain worth of food and I went all out and I just stockpiled on things and I really just had a spirit of fear and I wasn't looking towards Jesus for help. I was looking towards myself for help and that's just not the way. We all know this but we can be deceived from time to time, you know. We're not perfect. Not yet. <laughs> ah, it's a quiet night. There's not a lot of people out right now. 
It's not that cold, it's only like 11 degrees. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit, but... Yeah. Ah. God has blessed me so greatly these past two weeks. I'm joining the Discord group with you guys and uh, making a YouTube channel. <laughs> I was so nervous about making videos on here. I thought that I would just screw it up, but the Holy Spirit will speak through me, as he always does, and he will with you too. For those that maybe want to start a YouTube channel, but don't have the courage yet, just do it. Just go out and do it and let the Holy Spirit speak. It doesn't need to be a two hour long masterpiece, but it'll be whatever the Holy Spirit wants it to be. Christ will light the way he has for me. Slowly and slowly, he's been pulling me more out of the world and more into the spirit. And all that I want now is just to be with him forever in the kingdom. And whatever purpose he has for me, whatever it is, I will just fulfill it. I will obey him and love him and accept him and just... I know that he will be there for me. And in our times of need, he will be there. So look on Jesus, trust on him. Don't forsake him in your time of need. Don't rely on the things of the world, food and water and all of these things will be given to you. If you just ask, he will provide for you. And like I said, I know it's difficult to believe that in your time of real need, you know, when you're starving or you have been starving for a while or you have money problems and maybe your partner's trying to divorce you or something. I know some really bad things can happen in this world because so many bad things have happened to me and most of them has been my fault if I'm being perfectly honest to be honest <laughs> um, the wages of sin is death if you go out and do all these bad things you will experience death and then what happened to me was I had enough of experiencing death so Christ just pulled me out of it and to those that are experiencing death right now or they have addictions, just know that Christ is good with you. He loves you and he accepts you. He paid the sin. He paid the price for all for all of sin. He paid the debts. He went into our courtroom, our own personal courtroom. He poured out his blood on the accusations of the law. It then burned up into a flame and was destroyed. That's the gospel. Uh, and I, I just hope that everyone would know that, and I know that they will, but still doesn't stop me from hoping it, you know? Trust in Jesus, look towards Jesus in our time of need, especially in these times when everything's just going to shit. Everything's just going to shit. The world's gone mad. Everyone wants to kill each other for religions or different political views. And, People are trying to change their gender into a dolphin or whatever. <laughs> Everyone's just going crazy. And I can see the craziness that was in me as well when I was in the world last year. I was trying to make myself better than others. and I was trying to put myself above someone while making someone else lower than me. Well, God just was not half having any of that. He just went, you know what, Liam? I'm going to strike you down and I'm going to drag you out of the world because I have better plans for you. So yeah, man's free will is total and complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, Jesus is the saviour of the whole world. For those of you that happen to watch this video and don't know that, oh, you don't know what you're missing out on. He truly is just... I don't know how to explain it. He's just, he's, he just is. He is the I am. He created everything, good and evil. Everything is being used for his purpose. Like so when Satan is unleashed on the world and he roams the land as a devouring lion, lion seeking whom he may devour, put your faith in Jesus, trust in him. He will be your salvation. Okay. Well, I think it's going to start to rain soon, so peace out, my brothers and sisters in Christ.
and anyone else that happens to watch this video.